Hello everybody and a warm welcome. Um, thank you for joining me. I've got with me my young daughter here, who is called Giselle. Are you going to be a potter when you grow up? No. You're not? Why not? You never know. You, you, might, you might like it. Okay, well look, we've got some clay on the wheel here. I've got another one of those pots to make that I made just to get that in the right in the right position. Yeah, I think so. That's about it. Okay, right. Now, if you want to, you can talk to me and ask me some sensible questions. Okay. <laughs> So let's get this lump of clay on centre. This is, in fact, about uh, well, it's actually two kilograms. So it's, that would make it 4.4 um, pounds. 4.4 pounds. So bringing up the clay, pushing it down. What are you making? What am I making? Yes. I'm going to make one of those sort of cylindrical bottles, similar to what I made just recently here. Now then, just testing the thickness of the base here. Yep, that's good. My old leg needs a bit of practice. Why is the clay shiny when it's wet? Why is the clay shiny when it's wet? Well, because because water does make things shiny, doesn't it? Up we come. Let's dedicate, let's dedicate this potter to all those students up in Alaska at the Eagle River High School. Big hi to you all up there. A tower, a lighthouse. A lighthouse, yeah. So you can see I'm using my knuckle and my hand on the inside It's high enough up to allow the clay room to flow. So when I'm starting my lift, this is down here, but my fingers here not too close to the to the outside, on the inside, they're a bit up like that. That allows the clay space to flow through. Remember that's a good tip, I learned that from Guy. Up there in Connecticut. Guy, you hearing me, boy? <laughs> yes, sir. An old Guy Wolf up there in Connecticut. If you ever get the chance, you go and visit him. He's a great potter. And he makes fantastic garden pots. Up there in Litchfield County, Bantam, where I just been. Just recently. What is great clay time. made out of? What is clay made out of? Mm. Well. Well, 
answer that question another time, but it's we dig it out of the ground, don't we? No, almost out of the picture here, aren't we? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the neck here slightly. Maybe if I move the camera back a little bit over there, just a wee bit, we can get a bit more in the picture. Is it difficult making pot? Is it difficult making pots? Well, it's like anything, isn't it? You you have to practice it. Um, if you don't practice it, you can't. It's difficult making pots. Yes, it is. It is difficult making pots because you have to learn how to do it. It's not something you can just. No, but for you. Well, I'd like to say that it's always easy, but it, sometimes it isn't, you know, it's just... It isn't always easy, sometimes... It's a little bit you feel like you're in a struggle with the clay. And you're, you're battling with it. I guess not so much now as when, when I when I was, you know, like when I was more younger and doing my apprenticeship and when I was learning with your from your granddad. Yeah. You know your granddad, David, David Leach. Yeah. You don't really remember him do that well. Yeah, I do. You do. I do. You do. Oh, okay. He had grey hair. Like well, kind of he did have some grey hair, but he didn't have that much grey hair because he was. Even when he, even when he was like 93, he still had an ordinary dark hair that he'd always had. In but fact, yet he is small face, kind of circle. He was actually, he lost his hair a bit, didn't he? Yeah. But he'd always been a bit. You know what they call that when people lose their hair, what they call it? No. Calvo. Yeah, but in English that's calvo, that's Spanish for, for bald. Bald. Bald means no hair. Well, not very much hair. <coughs> so, how's that pot coming along? Dee, 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 dee. So I'm using my stick here on the outside to... In a minute, when you finish, I want to see... Yeah, just, just, let me, just let me finish what I'm saying here, because I like it, because otherwise it's... Using my stick, slightly as a rib, to clean off the outside of the, of the pot. We want to clean it off because that also makes it easier to, to get off the wheel. This part. That's French for. Is it not so? <laughs> is it not so? My leather. No more questions at the moment, okay? I've just got to find my. my sure where my chamois leather has got to. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I'm just about to, to put the chamois leather on it there, just to... Yeah, 
this area at the top of a pot is, creates a lot of mood in the pot around the this top here and the neck how the configuration of the neck is it, it sort of sensitive so it picks up every little noise. So we just need to get off the wheel a little bit and have a look at that. Well, I hope you're all practicing out there. Keep practicing. That's it. Keep practicing. And also, keep clicking. You're probably wondering what I mean by keep clicking. But you've probably noticed that my video clips have got some advertising along the bottom. Well, You'll find that that advertising is actually something that's quite relevant and quite, quite interesting. And you'll find that if you do click on it, you'll go into some interesting, other interesting websites, and um, it's there for. Although it, it earns me a very slight little bit of revenue, which is always, always useful. It's also a useful thing to have there. To, to be able to help ease the, your browsing experience. So, so do click. For yourselves as well as for me. Enable me to continue making video clips and going to have to do. Right. Just get a wire. Is that fun? Taking that fun to Is that what? Is that fun taking it off the top? Is it fun? Yeah. Yeah. Like that. That's fun. Just like that. Just like that. That's quite fun, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, folks. Let's just finish up this video clip. Well folks we we made it. <laughs> Here is the the finished pot and that's a good I don't know probably more than a foot tall. A tall a tall bottle. Okay well from Giselle and me. <laughs> we'll see you in the next clip. Bye now.